I must have hit a nerve last week on the last podcast about customer feedback. I've had like a 2,000% increase in listenership to that podcast. Uh, Greetings. Welcome back. John Verlin with you on Demand Advertising Solutions and Digital Marketing Update. This is our seventh podcast. Um, And uh, another reason why I love podcasts, I mean, you, you have another platform that you can help leverage market your services on and you get analytical or measurable results like that. So really wonderful to be able to do that compared to 30 years ago when you didn't have this capability. Um, I wanted to share a little story with you today that uh, it was basically about a gentleman I met. I'm going to call him Bob. He has a uh, equipment rental, well, I'll say he has a small business, and I met him uh, through a woman at a chamber coffee who I gave my business card to, and she somehow referred me or whatever. He called me and uh, said he wanted to meet with me to talk about how I might be able to help his small business grow. Well, I said, sure. We we met, and uh, as he began to talk to me a little bit about it, um, you know, we talked about what he had done. Um, He had a website. Uh, We went to it. It was not bad. Um, He'd been in business 10 years, but he couldn't figure out why suddenly uh, his print advertising didn't work like it used to. Uh, And, of course, a lot of it now is online, so he was buying the print newspaper, I guess, and they also match that or co-op that in the digital version as well. So as we talked about this, um, I asked to see his website. We went through it. I said, have you ever considered using a blog? Uh, He said, no, I don't write much, and I just don't. I don't really want to waste my time on that. I said, okay. Have you ever done any social media media, media, media to speak of? Uh, He he really hadn't. He he doesn't have a uh, Facebook business page, didn't have a Twitter account, a LinkedIn account. Um, So it kind of reminded me of a chamber event I was at several months ago where a, a woman that offered social media, did a little survey and asked everybody in the room, how many of you are small business owners, have a website? Every hand went up. How many of you have a social media presence? Every hand went down. And Bob reminded me exactly of that typical profile of that type of business owner. So as we were talking, I said, okay, Bob, so you haven't put together a blog, you haven't used a social media presence, you've just done print and maybe a few direct mail and things like that, which has not obviously been as good lately because the Postal Service almost went bankrupt and their deliveries are down, I guess. So as we were talking, uh, he just seemed, you know, John, I appreciate your time, but I really don't see how you can help me. I, I, and I said, let me ask you something, Bob. Have you seen my website? He said, no. And I said, so why did you call me? Well, I, you know, the lady I talked to gave me your card and said, you you know, she recommended you, said you seemed very knowledgeable, blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay. So we went to my website, and I showed it to him. And I said, I want you to see this animated video I'm doing for my business. Oh, okay. And I want you to see where I'm placing that on a blog I have. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. And I want you to see a podcast and listen to this that I've done. And he listened to it. Oh, okay. But I don't see how that can help me. And I said, well, I want to show you something, Bob. Um, And we talked about a newsletter. We talked about surveying his customers. You know, uh, we talked about emails. And he was kind of clueless about a lot of this. He didn't see really why you do it until I showed him what I had done. And then I showed him the podcast numbers, and I showed him the spike in listenership. And then we went to my Twitter account, and I showed him, you know, I've been making Twitter posts for small business content, things like that, and just retweeting them or listing occasional, you know, uh, updates that I've done. And I showed him that, he said, Bob, see this analytics last month? I had over 500 visits to my Twitter profile. And I showed it to him. I said, look at my Twitter profile. You see my company name. You see what I do. You see the link to my website. He goes, wow, 500 people visited your Twitter uh, profile page. I said, right. And the month before that was 600. Really? 
I said, yeah, what do you think? Well, that's, I'm impressed. I mean, he go, you know, that, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know that much about that. And I didn't know about your podcasting. That's kind of cool. I said, guess what, Bob? My website's not even posted yet. My Facebook business page isn't posted yet. What you've seen is just what I've been doing at random over the last month or two. I haven't really promoted myself much. I haven't led them to a website to see this other content. He goes, really? Well, could you do something like that for me? I said, Bob, what you've seen me do for me, I can replicate for you. Really? I said, yeah. He goes, well, what do you charge for this? I said, well, here's my rate card. I, sh I pulled out a sheet showing him my rates, social media, you know, postings every week, uh, per podcast production, per, uh, you know, animated video, uh, newsletter, uh, survey, you know, just broken down. And he kind of sat there with his mouth open. Wow. He goes, you're, you're pretty expensive. I said, look, Bob. I want you to take this home, digest everything we've talked about, make a few calls, call a couple of marketing firms or whatever you want to do, and then, you know, if you're interested, get back with me. Oh, okay. Yeah. He left. Nothing happened. Next day, about 4 o'clock, I get a call, and it's Bob. Hey, John, uh, I want to see if maybe we could get together again and talk a little bit more about this. I might want to consider, you know, uh, hiring your services. I said, fine. I went and met with him, and... We went over again what he wanted. Uh, I want you to consider, okay, let's see if we do a weekly post on, uh, I want to do Facebook, Twitter, and uh, LinkedIn. I want to do uh, a cartoon video each week that I want you to put a blog together, and we put that on it. I want you to do, you know, and he started rattling off. So I go, whoa, 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 slow down. I'm writing this down. And we get done, and he says, I just have one question for you. And I said, what? He goes, how can you do, why are you, you're like a third of what, other people are. Why, how can you do this for so cheap? <laughs> and I said, Bob, okay, I'm semi-retired. It's just me. I don't have a staff. I don't have a building. Uh, I just have knowledge and experience and capability. That's really what you're buying with me, isn't it? Yeah. And I said, okay. So, and by the way, I told him, I get paid the first of each month, direct deposit, well, can we start out maybe three months? I said, sure. We do a three-month deal, see how it goes, and I'll show you the analytics. We'll make sure it's growing and working for you. And you know what, Bob, what's really cool about this, the problem is why isn't your print working? Well, if I go to your website to research you before I come out to meet with you, if I need to lease you know, equipment or whatever, your site's okay, but it doesn't seem alive. It doesn't have a presence. I'm... It's an image problem. I don't feel as good about you because it doesn't seem like it's complete. And he goes, yeah, okay. And I said, that's what the difference is. That's what the blog will help with. Besides the fact we can promote content from it that will make it appear that you are really knowledgeable and really engaged. And even though you are, because you've been in business 10 years, if you don't highlight that and promote it, people won't know. He goes, well, that, that makes sense. And I said, you know what? The beauty of this is, worst case, you're going to get organic traffic from people just checking you out. And the more content we add, the more organic traffic that Google will show up on search engines because through that content we'll be posting on your blog, that's going to optimize your site with fresh content without having to go through a lot of over, you know, a lot of, lot of time and effort we do this on a simple basis and build it out and then promote it. He said, that sounds great, let's do it. So he's now a happy client. And I think that's kind of a profile of a lot of small business owners where they don't have a complete package because maybe they haven't been told, maybe it's been so costly they just say, I can't do this. Uh, and they're scratching their heads trying to figure out, okay, my media I used before isn't working as well. There's more competition in the market. Things have changed. What can I do? And that's what I'm here for. And that's what I shared with Bob. And I think he, he began to see the value in all this because we can link the new digital media with traditional media to drive content and drive uh, people to the website, 
to get them engaged, to get them to feel good perceptually about the business. jverlin1 at yahoo.com is my email. Comments, questions, website is ondemandadvertisingsolutions.com. I'm John Verlin. We'll see you next week. And I'm going to get more into this podcasting thing and how they can really bring up your analytics, not only on your blog, but also wherever you host that podcast, like in my case. Have a great day.